Hi everyone, today I'm going to walk you through how to take out a loan and farm rewards on Alchemix. So Alchemix is a decentralized lending platform that allows you to borrow up to 50% of the value of your collateral right away. So your loan is automatically paid back over time through the protocol lending out your collateral to urine finance, all with no risk of your loan getting liquidated. So to start off here, the action happens on this vault tab. So this is where you manage your loan with the choice of lending either DAI or Ether. And you can switch between these two here at the top, but I'll demonstrate in this video using DAI. An important figure to note here is the DAI APY, currently at 8.131%. And this is the current rate at which your collateral will be paid back through urine earnings. And this figure will fluctuate a lot over time. Helpful part to look at is the loan calculator, which tells you how long it's going to take for the debt to be paid back in full if you let it just go based off of the current urine earnings. So if you took the full 50% of your deposit, it would take a pretty long time to pay it all back at this rate, but you can calculate based on how much you actually want to borrow what the full payback time would be. So we're going to deposit DAI in order to be able to borrow the stablecoin ALUSD. First, we're going to deposit just 20 DAI, and we'll start off by approving the approving DAI on the contract. We have to wait a moment for this to be approved. All right, and now we can deposit this 20 die all right so now we see the wallet balance has been updated and we now have 20 die as collateral and you can see that now there's 10 ALUSD available to borrow that's coming from 50 percent of the value of the collateral moving over to the borrow tab here we can select how much ALUSD we want to borrow. Um, and so for example, if we put 100% here, this would be our maximum amount that we could borrow. Since we have 20 die deposited, we can borrow 10 ALUSD. So I'm going to borrow that here, waiting for that transaction to confirm. So now that's been confirmed. So we now have 10 ALUSD in the wallet. Let's take a look over at the withdrawal tab. So in this tab, you can take out any excess die if you want. So if we didn't take out the full value of the loan, or if we waited some time for a portion of the loan to be paid back, then there's some excess collateral. And this would be where you would withdraw that. Uh, but currently there is no die available to withdraw because we just borrowed the maximum amount of ALUSD possible based on how much die we deposited. If you want to close out your loan early, you have the option to repay it here on the repay tab. And you can make a repayment in either ALUSD or die or some mix between the two. And so you can have whatever mix you want. So if there's, if one of these tokens is cheaper than the other for some reason on the exchange, or you have some mix already in your wallet and you can pay it back whichever way you want. And the other method to close out your position, if you don't want to bring in external funds to pay off your debt, then you can repay the debt by liquidating the collateral. So if I wanted to repay that 10 ALUSD debt, then I could liquidate some of my die collateral here in order to pay that off. But I'm not gonna do that at the moment. Let's move over to the swap function. The swap tab contains links to where you can swap your ALUSD with other stable coins like on Curve. And there also are options for doing the equivalent with ETH and ALF. There is a particular situation here that has a special function. That is for the transmuter tab. 
if ALUSD is currently trading under a dollar, so below a one to one ratio with DAI, then you can use the transmuter by depositing some ALUSD and then the transmuter would take some of the interest from the urine deposits and gradually transmute or give you DAI in exchange for that ALUSD that you deposited. And down here are just the stats on the transmuter and there is currently plenty of DAI available to exchange for your ALUSD. And lastly, let's take a look at the farm tab. This is a place where you can stake tokens in order to earn ALCX rewards, which is the governance token for the Alchemix protocol. So three of these options are for rewards for liquidity providers. So they would stake their LP tokens after staking two tokens in the pool. By being a liquidity provider though, you do expose yourself to the risk of impermanent loss. On the other hand, the ALCX and the ALUSD pools are single token staking pools, so you do not have the impermanent loss risk. And I'll show you the setup for the ALUSD pool. So we have the 10 ALUSD available that we borrowed after depositing the 20 die. And we can stake all of our ALUSD here. I'm going to approve this on MetaMask. And what this allows us to do here is earn 8.39% APR or estimated, this will fluctuate, in ALCX tokens just for staking that ALUSD in this pool. So I hope this video has been helpful and I'll see you in the next one.